Canberra's 2012 campaign came to a shuddering halt at the hands of South Sydney. But to avenge that defeat, they'd have to drastically improve their awful record on the road. They'd also have to harness a superman called Greg Inglis, who was instrumental in Queensland squaring the Origin Series just 48 hours earlier. On a heavy homebush track, the Raiders opted to take points where possible, as Jared Croker slotted his side's first penalty goal of the season, and the dismal conditions certainly made one South forward feel at home. Got away from the tackle from Shillington. Now he's stepping off his right foot, getting it back to Burgess. He might go all the way, Sam. He's over the line. Momentum. It was like a balmy day in Bradford as Big Sam slid across the stripe and left the video referees with a very easy call to make. Not so cheery was his teammate Andrew Everingham, who sustained rib damage in the warm-up. But at least his last-minute replacement proved up to the task. And Justin Hunt scores in the right corner. Justin Hunt has scored in the right corner. And the referee points to the spot. Hunt's opposite Sammy Saluma got himself reported when he forgot the NRL's edict on shoulder charging. But there was no resistance at all for Isaac Luke. John Sutton playing and Isaac Luke's over. Yeah, you can't give him an inch. You can't give him an inch. Forget about inches, the Bunnies were threatening to win this encounter by a mile after those three consecutive tries, enjoying the warmth of the sheds with a 16-2 lead. And that would have been a much safer place to be with Jeff Lima looking for targets. Good tackle by Lima. Lima on Shillington. Then came the most special moment of the night as a Rabbitoh favourite put his forgettable New South Wales debut behind him. They look for Nathan, Nathan's over. He's one try away from 150 and he's three away from Benny Waring's club record. Five minutes later, it was same corner, different scorer. With a play the ball that was sloppy and they go in to score. An audacious south side simply didn't care about the wet weather as they kept the pill alive and racked up the points. That's a good kick from Reynolds and then marked by, I think it was Pete that's gone on down and Walker puts it down. It's a try, he points to the crowd. Where's the applause? That's the applause I want. That was a beautiful piece of football. South Sydney's men of steel were far too classy, running out triumphant by 32 to 2, thereby ensuring that they'll maintain a gap of at least three competition points at the head of the table by the end of round 16. David Rowlands, NRL.com.